Hey Fire Signs, there is Leo Sagittarius. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the next 24 to 48 hours predict for you. It is going to be a general reading, so the messages may not necessarily resonate with everyone watching, and that's okay. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email address will be listed below the video. Oh wow, okay. So we'll take a bunch of these cards then. Hey, a strong theme of messages or communication is coming in very strongly here. Um, I feel like the next 24 to 48 hours might provide you an opportunity to share a message okay, with someone that means a lot to you, someone that you're romantically interested in, that you're emotionally invested in. Um, <clears throat> I feel like communication is going to shake up any stagnant parts or any stagnant areas um, of a relationship, of a situation or just um, of a certain area or aspect in your life, okay? So communication is going to move, um, it's going to sort of move things along for you and a connecting romantic energy, okay? Someone might reach out and contact you, okay? Someone may do so out of the blue. Um, spookily enough, it might be someone that's been on your mind a lot lately. You've been thinking about this person, maybe they've fallen out of your radar. Maybe you guys haven't re really um, connected in a long time. And then, you know, all of a sudden, this is someone who's reaching out and contacting you, okay? They may give you a call, um, but for a lot of you, I feel like it's a text message that I see coming in, a text from someone that you're presently, you're pleasantly, sorry, surprised to hear from, okay? And this communication, this one simple text message is going to open up an opportunity to shake things up in the, in what was you know a stagnant relationship or a stagnant situation between you and this person um i feel like you're exploring synergies and i feel like you're explore, exploring sorry chemistry with a romantic energy so i feel like there's a lot of flirtation there's a lot of chemistry here um and I feel like things are about to get a lot more interesting between you and someone. So maybe this is someone that you're romantically involved with. Maybe this is someone whom, like, it was an ex or someone whom, you know, you've known from the past, like a past energy. Someone whom you've always had romantic feelings for or you've always had chemistry with this person. And the thing is, again, you know, there's some sort of message that is coming in that is almost going to, like, instantly change things or change things overnight between you and this person. I'm also seeing that you're ready to move things forward, okay? So if you are romantically involved with someone, I feel like you're ready to move things forward. You're ready to explore the chemistry, the connection that you guys have. Um, there's someone here you might be catching up with. For now, for a lot of you, it is a romantic energy, okay? Someone from the past comes calling, okay? Someone whom you're very... Um, Someone whom you've always had feelings for, again, this could be someone who has completely fallen, fallen off your radar. Someone whom you've been thinking about a lot lately, okay? Someone who might be reaching out to you. And truth be told, this is a connecting energy who I feel like there's an emotional thread that ties you and this person together. So even though you guys haven't spoken for, like haven't spoken with in such a long time, this person still feels very much connected to you or they still feel very close to you okay and i feel like this is someone who wants to get even closer so they want to you know um become even more intimate with you um, now for some it's not necessarily a romantic energy okay it's like you know in the next 24 to 48 hours or even a little bit longer than that but you might hear from someone um out of the blue but the six of cups is a bit of a nostalgia energy okay so this is someone who it could be someone you went to high school with someone you went like to primary school with someone you grew up someone who was you know besties with you back in the um good old days i don't know there's just something about it's like it's not just this person okay it's like it's not just this person you're connecting with you're also connecting with a part of your childhood or a part of yourself maybe when you were younger like adolescence um young adult you know when you were young um 
you could be like going back to, it's like you're revisiting memories with this person so there's like you're not only making or this person isn't just making contact with you or you're not just you know making contact with this person it's like you share so much you've been through so much and uh together and at one point in your life this this person has you know they've meant a lot to you and uh, I feel like there's a, yeah, a, quite a nostalgic energy here. I feel like this is either someone you still have very strong feelings for or someone who will always mean something special to you. And when, you know, you communicate or you interact with this person, there's associational memories. So, you know, again, you're associating this person with a certain time in your life, whether it's when you were young, whether it's when you were a teenager, a young adult. Um, I just feel like there's a lot a lot of memories you guys share and it's like you're going back and you're taking a stroll down memory lane okay you're visiting memories you're going back in time here and it's a beautiful energy because i feel like it's someone who someone who has either meant a lot to you when you were you know when you were younger or you know growing up or at a time in your life and i somehow you know, I'm picking up the energy that the feelings that you're still, you still have feelings for this person, even if they're not romantic, like this person is a bit of a big deal to you. They mean a lot. There's a, I, I did mention that there's a message because I feel like the key word, the, the theme word here is message. So you're receiving some sort of message or some sort of communication with someone very special. For most of you, it is a romantic energy, okay? It could be a secret admirer. It could be the crush that you're crushing on, the person that you're currently romantically involved with. It could be someone completely out of the blue. It could be a childhood friend, okay? It could be a friend from way back. It could be like a cousin, maybe a sibling you haven't heard from in a long time, a family member here. Um, but I also feel like there, even if this isn't someone necessarily contacting you directly, I feel like there's an opportunity for you to share a message or for you to share something special with someone okay so you know maybe it's you're the one that's going to be opening up the lines of communication with this person um, I feel like I see you swapping stories with someone again like you know it's a very nostalgic kind of energy I feel nostalgia is gonna wash over you like a wave and for some of you I feel like you know maybe it's just you hanging out with a friend but you're swapping stories with what feels like a kindred soul a kindred spirit so someone very close to you it could be someone that you know gets in contact with you it could be someone that's like a really close connecting energy to, um with you right now but you're talking about everything with this person you know the the disney films you loved growing up the disney cartoons you loved growing up your favorite villains your favorite heroes um you know the latest serious you've been the latest tv show you've been been binge watching um i don't know to like the skincare or the products the makeup that you use it's like you're just having this session where you're just swapping stories This, this sense of curiosity in the energies. Um, for some of you, I'm picking up the message that your curiosity knows no bounds. There's something or someone you're getting very curious about. Okay, and I feel like a lot of you are going to be exploring that curiosity. For some of you, if you've been having trouble sleeping lately, um, you might want to like throw yourself into better habits, like better emo like some of you are doing emotional eating is what I'm seeing, emotional eating or like drinking, like oh, you're binging a lot, and I know it makes you feel better in the moment, but not necessarily after, right? So some of you are going through that, and that. I'm seeing that that's affecting your sleeping, um, your sleeping habits, your sleeping patterns. So, you know, if you're doing the emotional eating, take a look into that and maybe um, adapt, adopt better habits there. Yeah, there's some sort of 
to me it feels like there's some sort of psychological or emotional issue that is affecting your physical health so if you're getting a lot of headaches it could be that you've been you know you've been doing a lot of thinking and overthinking about a past hurt or a past wound or you know something that still very much bothers you um, it bothers you on an emotional and a mental level and it's also manifesting and it's impacting your physical health so um, I feel like the link there's a strong link okay or if you're having like sleepless nights or you know if you, if you have tummy problems anything like that if you're having physical symptoms which have been manifesting and have been coming up very frequently and very often or all of a sudden have just started coming on there is some sort of emotional or psychological link okay you're gonna have to decipher exactly what that is it may have to do with someone else okay so you know a romantic energy uh, could be like a failed relationship or some something someone says has emotionally triggered you or someone is you know someone's energy is disturbing yours it's bothering you and it's you know for one reason but figure out um i meant for some reason it could be several reasons figure out what that link is figure out like what that emotional psychological link is to this physical problem and i think it's going to put you on the path to wellness again i'm going back to that message okay you're sending or you're receiving a message the thing is i feel like you know your creativity is really sparked and i think you're going to come up with a really creative way to craft your message okay or to share your idea with someone now look for some of you yes it is a romantic message okay you know as we spoke about earlier you might be contacting someone that you're romantically interested in someone that you're crushing in you might be asking this person out they may be contacting you and asking um, you know you out or just you know you're swapping text messages here maybe a bunch of sweet nothings but you know it's a very pleasant energy for others it might not necessarily be a romantic message okay i feel like maybe this is something to do with creativity so maybe the you know you're working on a project or you're collaborating with someone and you're reaching out to someone who could who maybe you want to collaborate with on a project or you want some feedback or you want some advice and you're thinking of the thing is you're not the only person that's reaching out to this person and i think you know that but what's going to be different about your message is you're thinking up of a crafty way to send that message like if you want to get you know if you want to hook an agent for a book to get your book published or if you just want to get some feedback from someone who's you know advice you really respect and value i feel like there's something about your message that is really going to stand out and really connect with this person you need to release some sort of old fears okay um if some of you i feel like you're holding yourself back you've been wanting to contact someone and you've been wanting to communicate with someone but um, you need to release some old fears about either contacting this person or maybe about, you know, speaking up, something to do with boundaries as well. Uh, like, you know, at the end of the day, you want to be loved for you, okay? Not who this person wants you to be, not who this person thinks you are. You want to be loved for you. And if this is someone who cannot accept you as you are, you know, flaws, imperfections and all, well, then maybe this person, you know, isn't necessarily the right fit for you. So release any old fears or really take a closer look at the relationships you have going on. Yeah, you're, t you're testing chemistry. You're uh, testing chemistry with someone over the next 24 to 48 hours or even with something like a project, I don't know, a class or a workshop. Maybe you want to get an ID going. Maybe you've been wanting to sign up to... I don't know acting classes I don't know and you, you kind of want to see you know you're flirting with the idea of picking up a project or starting a new project or starting some sort of class or a course you've been flirting with this idea for quite some time and now you want to test the chemistry between you and this person or between you and this object Okay, make sure you take care, make sure you rest, and make sure you um, leave some time for yourself.
Okay, because I feel like you're going to, and, and this isn't just for the next 24 to 48 hours, but I think that, you know, coming into this time of the year, I feel like you're going to be really busy. I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that are happening for you and a lot of invitations. I feel like there's a lot of events or social functions that are coming up and you have to make sure that you set, you know, some, you find some peace and quiet at home or in your own space. Okay. Um, cause I feel like I see you sort of sharing your space with a lot of people. That's why it's so important for you to get that, you know, your own space. There's something here that I feel like is reaching a professional pinnacle, okay? Especially when it comes to like a project or a career or, you know, your job. I feel like you have been putting a lot of work into, a lot of work, effort and energy into a project, whether it's a book or I don't know if it's a D DIY project. It's something you've been putting a lot of your time into and I feel like you're finally being recognized for your hard work and talent. Uh, I feel like it's, you know, you, maybe you've been, you know, a part of you has been waiting for results to show up quicker and maybe it's taken a long time. But hey, guys, we all know there is no such thing as overnight success and what might look like overnight success to us, um, you know, behind the curtains. It's really years of um, grueling hard work, right? So there's no such thing. You can't just go out into the world, plant a seed and expect to wake up the next morning and expect for the seed to have fully blossomed and uh, you know grown it doesn't work that way um, but yeah you're you're being recognized for your hard work and talent and I see results coming in okay someone might be picking up like an agent might you might hook an agent someone is recognizing your work if you've entered any competitions of some sort you might be placing in these competitions here but you're finally being noticed and this is a big deal, guys. This is a big deal because this is something that's very close to you. There is something here. This is... Okay. Something is splitting in threes for you. I don't know if... Okay, this could be something as simple as you breaking an household item something around the house and it's gonna break and it's gonna split in three it could mean that there's you, you might be working and collaborating on a project and you've got you might have to delegate you know the work and split it amongst the three of you i, I don't know but there's something here or there's if there's some sort of competition maybe or some something i don't know it's it three it's three something is happening in three days and three hours three weeks or three months something here is being split in threes for you okay three is the magic number apparently what else yeah just want to leave it that you know want to leave the reading at the the message thing there's just to drive that message home there's some there's some message that you need to share with someone and the next 24 to 48 hours is going to provide a beautiful opportunity for that okay because it's going to like this message is going to provide an opening into a relationship or an opening into, you know, forming an emotional connection with someone or forming a connection uh, with someone, you know, collaborating with synergies, collaborating with energies and just different ideas and projects and whatnot. So either you're sending and receiving, you're sending or you're receiving the message. But the key word here is message. Okay, there's something here that I feel like is really powerful. And uh, this is something that means a great deal to you. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking and subscribing. Bye.